What's going on hawkers? In today's video we are reviewing the Jet Boil Stash. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. So that's exactly what we're all about. Our mission is to help you increase your quality of life on trail. Starting with this piece of gear, because we also talk about gear here. Full disclosure, Jet Boil, they didn't pay me anything, although they did send me this Jet Boil stash before it was put on the market to be sold, and I've been using it pretty much ever since. I've taken it on a ton of trips, and I'm gonna share my opinion on the things that I like and don't like about this, this system, and I'm not gonna pull any punches here. If you see me looking down, I have a little cheat sheet with some measurements as well as some notes just to kind of jog my memory. So I wanna start off with basically the stats or measurements on this thing. You can look them up on any website, so I'm not gonna waste your time talking about them all day. So here they are real quick. Uh, first, when I weighed this, it weighed 211 grams, or that is 7.5 ounces. Now on their website, it has it listed at 7.1 and I'm not sure where they get that number from, but what I weighed was the cook pot, the lid, and then this little stuff sack with the stove in it. I did not weigh this, which is basically a stabilizer for your fuel to help it from keeping, uh, to help keep it from tipping over whenever you're out in the back country. Next up, the average boil time they have listed at five minutes. I'm not really gonna say anything yet on that because that's part of the likes and don't likes. And then the, the capacity on how much fluid ounces this thing will hold is 27 or 3.3 cups roughly. Now let's jump into what I liked first about this whole cook setup and then we'll move on to what I didn't like. I have quite a few things that I liked and a lot that I didn't like. So first off, I like that there is a storage on the lid. You can snap in the gas canister that you take with this cook system into the lid. And I thought that was pretty cool. I'd never seen it before. Uh, also, the stove fits inside of the cook pot. Now, depending on uh, what kind of setup you're using or interested in using, sometimes your stove literally will not fit in the cook pot that you bring. And I like that you can kind of keep everything together it's easier for me to not forget something at home. Uh, also, my food, it hasn't stuck inside of the jet boil. And I've been using it, I basically boil water in it, pour my food in and let it rehydrate. Or if I'm not eating out of here, I would pour the water into whatever I'm, whatever I'm rehydrating, something like uh, a good to go meal or Mountain House or Peak Refuel or whatever brand that you're into. Uh, another thing that I liked about it is that it is pretty stable. Now the stove, it has these little grooves in it so that you can kind of almost clip in the cook pot. The cook pot has a rim on the bottom. And so whenever you're doing that, it, it helps keep the, the cook pot from sliding off. And, and I really like that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's fairly compact because everything kind of fits together. Now it's not super compact. I'm gonna be honest here and we'll talk more about that later, but everything fits inside of this one compartment, and I consider that a pro. Uh, next up, we have this handle. This handle actually folds in, makes it a little bit more compact, and I, I like a handle on my cook pots because I don't have to bring something extra to keep me from touching this hot cook pot because I have in the past used things that don't have a handle and then you have to, you need like little grabbers or a towel or something like that to, once your cook pot gets really hot, to take it off of your stove. Uh, also, another thing I like about it is in ideal conditions, this thing boils water really, really fast. Now I don't have an exact number for you, but it's comparable to any of the other high-end stoves that you're gonna find out on the market. The last thing that I really liked about this setup is on the lid, it has these little lips, so you can actually drink through the lid from the cook pot. If you don't want, if you don't want to bring an extra cup to drink out of, maybe you like to drink coffee in the morning or tea at night or something like that, um, you can make that inside of the cook pot and don't need that extra piece of gear kind of weighing you down. Typically, I bring a cup anyway, but there has been trips that I've just used the lip on the lid to drink from. 
Let's move on to what I didn't like about this cooking setup and then we'll wrap up the video afterward with my final thoughts of should you buy it or not. So first off, in ideal conditions, yeah, this thing boils water really fast. But in non-ideal conditions, like I've taken it out in the winter time and I use four season fuel isobutane propane mix and hooked the sucker up and it took forever. I'm talking like, I don't know, 10 minutes to boil a couple of cups of water. And to me, that is just not acceptable. Uh, another thing that I didn't like is that, and this could be dangerous too, for me anyway, is if I'm pouring water, so you clip on the lid, you get, you put your water in there, put it on the lid, boil the water, and then you're ready to pour the water into whatever you're trying to rehydrate. Well, sometimes this lid as I'm pouring would just come off, especially the farther I tipped it over and that could cause me to get burned. And that, that's definitely not okay, right? So that needs to be fixed. If they're gonna do another iteration of, of this setup with the stash, then they need to make it where the lid is gonna for sure stay on. I think what happens is when plastic heats up, it just becomes more malleable, more flexible. And so it falls off easier. And I clip it on all the way. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, could be another one of those things where it's my fault, but uh, Jet Boy, we gotta get that fixed. Uh, next up, the cook pot. For some people, this is gonna be way too bulky. It's just too big and it's not fitting in their pack the way that they need it. So some people have super minimal setups. I'm talking like, can boil a cup of water if they want to. Some people don't even use stoves at all, right? So this, I keep it on the outside of my pack because I don't want it taking up the room on the inside, especially if I'm, I'm trying to go a more minimal route and a smaller backpack. So if you're somebody that is like ultralight and all that kind of stuff, this is probably not even in your wheelhouse to consider buying this, but uh, that is a con being that it's kind of bulky for some people. Uh, next up, I put on my list, that it's only good for boiling water, really. You can't cook in it. You can let stuff rehydrate, but there's no simmer. It's it's either on, like full blast. Jet Boil is known for this, you know, full blast kind of, I wouldn't really call it loud, but it's full force and it's boiling water as fast as it can. And that is what it's good at. That's what it's made for. So if you're somebody that's that's trying to cook up this, this nice meal and maybe you got to saute some things or maybe you got to let something simmer for 10 minutes, not for you. Don't buy this. This, this is, it's not this thing's job to do that kind of thing. It is, let's boil some water. Let's jet boil it. Next up on my list, I put that this thing is expensive. Uh, for some people, it's outside of the budget. I don't know what it sells for now, but it, whenever it first came out, it was a hundred plus dollars, maybe even more. So that's a big thing to consider. It's, it's a large investment for a stove and a cook pot, especially whenever you could get away with spending less than 20 bucks and still boil water at the same amount of time and probably be even lighter than this. So, uh, you know, I'll throw some things that are alternatives down in the description as well as a link to this thing. Um, if you want to check any of that stuff out, it will be affiliate link, so it's no extra cost to you, but it does benefit me and help support the channel. Um, but yeah, the cost of this thing, I feel like it's a little bit overpriced, but you know, it all depends on what your budget is. I'm also going to throw out that uh, if you want everything to fit inside of this cook pot, you know, all those components that come with it, including your fuel, it has to be kind of in the right position. You have to organize the stuff in the cook pot or the lid won't close with the canister hooked into the lid. It just, it literally doesn't fit. So, you know, you got your stove in its little stuff sack position in the corner away from, I don't know. I, I, I think that's kind of annoying, but I'll deal with it so it all fits inside of here. And then my last con, and then we'll, I'll try to help you make a decision on if you should buy it or not, but it's gonna depend on you. The last con is this thing is very heavy compared to what you could buy. You know, like I have used a BRS stove in the past and it weighs less than an ounce. And this thing is, is saying it's supposed to weigh 7.1 ounces. And then you could throw in a cook pot or like a grease pot or something like that. That's very, very light. And this thing's a little heavier than, than those types of setups. So now the question, should you buy it? 
If it were me and I was just wanting to boil water and I know that that is my goal, I like oatmeal in the morning, I like a mountain house at night, you know, something like that. It's, it's an okay investment. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. It all depends on your needs. If you're somebody that likes to, to really cook in the kitchen and you know, you're wanting to cook different stuff, probably not the right setup for you. So if you have any questions, just comment them below. I'll try to answer them the best that I can or send you to the right resource. And hopefully you enjoyed the, the gear reviews. Maybe I'll bring a few more to the channel here in the near future. If you did enjoy, make sure you give me one of these, subscribe to the channel, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next one.